Hi, my name is Josh Kelly and I'm a trained technician here at Selco Products. Today in this video, I'll be going over the steps necessary to address and assess damage done to a PVDF coating on a Selco line fittings plate. Please keep in mind, these repairs should only be performed on areas that are one square inch or less. Any areas larger than one square inch should be discussed with the Selco engineer on how to proceed or move forward. Also keep in mind when you're doing these repairs, you should be doing it in a dry, sheltered area. These instructions are also available on our website at www.selcoproducts.com. With that said, here are the tools needed to make any necessary repairs. Flameless heat gun. Die grinder. Two inch roll lock disc holder. 36 and 100 grit. Two inch sanding disc or paper. Rounded Teflon block. Infrared thermometer. Kynar ADX Flex 281 powder. Solvent acetone. Cotton lint free cloth. Applicator stick. Heat resistant gloves. This repair kit is also available for purchase. Using the die grind wheel with 36 grit sanding disc, slowly grind a small area around the coating crack until you can no longer pull the loose Kynar coating up from the base metal. This will ensure that you are repairing the area to the adhered material. If the area is free of corrosion and the coating does not pull away from the base metal, grinding with the 36 grit sanding disc may not be necessary. Once the area is well defined, make sure to clear the center of the area of any loose coating, corrosion, and debris. Make sure that the die grinder sanding disc and or sandpaper is used only for Kynar repair to prevent contamination. Blend ground area so it smoothly transitions into the surrounding coated area. This should visually appear to be an area of concavity. Using the cotton lint free cloth, clean area with acetone. Allow the prepped area to air dry. Follow surface preparation steps as previously described. Using a flameless heat gun, heat area to be repaired in between 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or until the surrounding area appears to be glossy. Be careful to not overheat the Kynar coating. Overheating will cause the coating to look dark and burnt. Application of the Kynar powder should be done slowly and in small P to dime size sections. Make sure each application slightly overlaps other Kynar coated sections. Each layer of Kynar powder should be roughly one third of the total desired dry film thickness. It is better to start at the outside of the coating and work in a circle towards the center of the area needing repair. Using the rounded Teflon block, compress powder while using continuous heat. This is to make sure the powder stays in place while the heating occurs. Uncured powder can blow away if pressure isn't applied during the heating process. 
be sure to firmly compress the powder during this step. But keep in mind, too much pressure may move the powder away from the repair area. Ensure all of the powder has been melted and blended into the target area. Repeat as necessary until desired thickness and coverage is achieved. It is expected that the repair area will be thicker than the surrounding area. Allow repaired area to cool to ambient temperature. Using the 100 grit sanding disc or paper, lightly sand the repaired area with the die grinder until it becomes consistent with the thickness of the surrounding area. Heat the sanded area until the loose kynar melts and turns the same color as the surrounding area. Hi, my name is Jay Burnett. I'm an employee here at Salco Products. I've been employed at Salco Products for seven years. I spent two years as a non-destructive tester and five years as a quality control inspector. Today I will be performing a 2K spark test and a coating mill thickness test. The first thing I will be looking for is a completely coated part, one free of voids or cracks. Using a coating thickness gauge, perform a dry film thickness test on the repaired area. The main purpose of the mill test is to achieve a reading of 25 mils. Any reading below 25 mils is non-compliant. Using a pinhole detector performs a spark test at 2K over the repair area. Both tests pass proving that coating has been successfully repaired. This concludes the repair and testing processes. When done correctly, these repairs will prevent costly time and labor, keep the plate in good condition, and lengthen the life of the plate. For any further information, visit www.selcoproducts.com. Thanks for watching.